Got the length that is inviting for a quarterback. Tell you, when you got a big, strong receiver like that, just get the ball up in this air and watch this young man go to work. Oh, baby, he went up. Deep left side. It is caught. Left side. Down the sideline goes Kenny Galladay. Slips the man at the 15. Inside the 10. Stafford again with the play fake. Uh -oh. Looking Galladay got behind the defense wide open. Great footwork by Kenny Gallagher. And great body control, too, Dan. Look at that. that wow. Just the body control he had. Woo, some of those catches, some of those touchdowns should be worth more than six, seven points <laughs> Heck yeah. because of style alone. We are joined right now by one of the best young receivers in the league. He's entering his third year in the NFL. He's already coming off a 1,000-yard season, and he's primed to take yet another leap here in 2019. Please welcome, from the Detroit Lions via Chicago, Illinois, Kenny Galladay. Hey! hey. His highlights are ridiculous. I like the stiff arm. In. You like that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> to all of that. Oh, we saw the stiff arm. You were a breakout star last season, but now I feel like personally your expectations and of your fans and of fantasy football players, all of that, have to be through the roof. How are you handling all of that pressure heading into this year? Uh, pressure really doesn't bother me. You know, it's really just a challenge. I'm a competitor first, so me going into a game really is just like fun. I've been doing it all my life, so pressure. It isn't really a big deal for no me. No pressure. Love it. Now, we've seen a lot of guys getting upset with their Madden ratings. Yours was an 83. How you, how, how you feel about that? <sighs> I'll probably play Madden for like a month. That's it. <laughs> but, I mean, what is it, 83? 83 overall. I'm just getting my feet wet, you know, you so. Just get his feet wet. At this All right. point, I'll, I'll take that. All right, they gave you a 91 spectacular catch uh, rating. Let's take a look at some of your highlights from last 91. year. And you tell us kind of what... what what allows you to kind of make those, you know, circus catches? We're going we, we gonna, we gonna to look at some catches first, though. All right, let's take a look. You guys got to talk over these for I me. know, I know. And as a DB, you hate it when, a, when, when you're right there and that receiver just, I mean, goes up and gets it. Were you always just a pure hands catcher? Or? Uh, yeah, to be honest, um, <clears throat> I really practice without gloves, just using my hands. So then when you put the gloves on, it's just easier. And that's what dudes don't do. Yeah. That's what they don't do. They they use those gloves as a safety net because you can catch anything with them gloves on. Exactly. Can I catch anything? Oh, absolutely. With gloves on? Okay. Absolutely. I think your big hands help too there, though. <laughs> yeah, right? yeah. So if he's catching with no gloves on and practice yeah. working day in and day out like that, I know I walked up on him when he came in, and I'm like, see, that's part of the reason yeah. I said I'm retiring because yeah. I can't cover <laughs> dudes like this. You don't jugs <laughs> machine with no gloves? Uh, yeah, sometimes. You know, with gloves, without gloves. You know, just in the off season training and stuff like that. I use no gloves. It was it was one time. Well, actually, last year I worked out with uh, Randy. Oh wow! And you know, we went out there to practice. So my mind said I already don't use gloves, so I didn't even bring them. And he was like, uh, "Keep the gloves at home." I'm like, "I'm already, I'm already, you know, oh, man, that's a couple amazing. steps ahead of you." That's great. You know, your former teammate Golden Tate was talking about Matthew Stafford the other day, and he said he's the best quarterback he's ever played with, which. Has you know leads to some other questions, but asking you about Stafford, why do teammates always seem to have his back? What is it about Matt Stafford? You know what you're gonna get out. You know what you're gonna get from him pretty much every Sunday. You know, even at practice, you know the guy gonna work hard and he's a competitor. You know, um, he might do a little trash talking with you know even with our guys, even during other opponents on Sunday. It's just that's the type of guy you just wanna you know have his back because he's gonna have your back. You like a quarterback who talks trash. You know, it's part of the game. You know, yeah. when you, when you yeah. compete, you got to talk a little bit. Yeah. It's going to be chirping going back and forth. So, you know, especially from your quarterback. And when you're out there dropping down, it, it just, you know, make the game fun. So, Kenny, I, this is the first time I've ever met you, so I'm just going to be really real with you. I had you in fantasy football, and I benched you week 15. <sighs> week 15, he went up to Buffalo and took on Tredavious Wright. This is a shutdown corner, a guy who I was benching elite wide receivers against all season long because nobody sniffed 100 yards against Tredavious White. You take him on <laughs> in Buffalo and put up a buck 46. What is your mindset going one-on-one -on -one with one of the league's top? You you ruined my season, bro. <laughs> <laughs> just competing, really. Um, I really didn't care. I really don't care who in front of me, really. I just want to go out there and make plays for the team. You know, when my number's called, I got to make the play. So, I mean... I accepted the challenge, you know, so, and then I needed a big week for myself, so I just accepted the challenge and came out on top. Who was the toughest corner you faced last year? Uh, it was a good battle against Tech P. 
And then I go against um, Xavier Rose twice a year. You know, a, a, a big, a big guy, long big guy, guy. Yeah. long arms, physical. So those, those two top guys. And then I go against Slay every day in practice. Oh yeah, Slay can go. Oh. <laughs> Slay can go. Y'all can check my list out of my top top ten DBs. Slay on my list. It's coming out soon. It ain't out yet. Um, I always love when I got the ball in my hands. You know, I was I'm a defensive guy. I got to turn into an offensive player for a little bit. Um, there was a play last year. You got the chance to turn into a defensive player um, after an interception. Uh, I know that's not something you probably take pride in, but kind of tell us a little bit about your mindset because you made some headlines after after your quarterback threw that interception and you you know you made a big hit. To be honest, um, well my rookie year, we didn't go over like tackling turnover as much. Mm -hmm. Here with the play right here. Oh! Talk about oh. it, Kenny. Calls, fumble, we get the ball back. Like, that, that, that's a mindset. Yeah. Not being humble here. Like, yeah. I know, right? You Seize too, the day. You're too nice. I mean, I talk mean, about your mind. Like, really? for me, I know that I can count on you anytime as a teammate because of that. Yeah, uh, it's really doing whatever it takes. But Patricia set the tone, you know. He said, offense, defense, this is what we're going to do. Tackling turnover. And that's really just buying into what he's, you know, what he's telling us to do. We literally go over drills like that, you know, punching the ball out, stripping the ball, um, like stumble bump or, you know, offense got the ball, stumble, keeping the ball high and tight. And I really just applied it to the game. I didn't even think about it. It just came like, you know, second nature to me. I feel like the Lions are going to surprise people. Yeah, they will. Matty P came on our show, your coach, saying, talk about everybody else in the NFC North. We're going to do it, and it's going to be because of this kid. Draft him. Do not bench him against Trudy <laughs> or Xavier Rhodes or anybody. Kenny Galladay, thanks for being here. Thank you, man. Thank you, yeah. Kenny. Have a good time in New York. Good luck at training camp. I thank know you, you got to go to training camp. Thank you, thank we'll you. We'll see you in Detroit.